for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry shalom yashar allah first of all i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth doing the work in these last days. Also those who are risking their life for this truth. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to protect and be with you. Shalom also to those who are sincerely seeking this truth to the few aquats, you know, to the speckled beds spread around four corners of the earth. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Barakata. So, as you saw, I just read from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now, I'm going to take for example my mother, my beloved mother, who, you know, sometimes we have, you know, few conversations regarding, regarding the return of the Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, who his real name is Yahweh Shai, and she has that tendency of always you know telling me that whatever since she was young you know her parents also told her that a messiah was supposed to come but the messiah hasn't come and she's always telling me um this world is not going to end in our days you know she has that kind of you know wish that you know the world shouldn't end you know in our days you know because she sees it as a very, very destructive thing. And this is just the same mentality, you know, the so-called Christians they have, you know, and the rest of the world. They, they, they low-key don't really want this kingdom to end because they are really ignorant about the truth. They don't know that it's not, the world is not ending. The world is forever. But this present kingdom of wickedness needs to go away and Yahweh Shai is actually coming to redeem us to put us back to the normal states in which we are supposed to be which is the state of the princes of the power the sons and daughters of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai you know so there is so much ignorance on the earth you know so people are actually blind and you know, as time goes on, time goes on, they don't, some people actually got into this truth and after some time, you know, they fell off. They fell off because they don't believe Yahweh Shai will still come back because one year passes, two, year, two years passes, three years passes, four years passes, five years passes. So they just be like, man, I believe I'm wasting my time and they go back to, to the world just like a dog that goes back to its vomit vomit you know so this is just the the perfect scenario for the for the for the earth now in which this is going to be like an encouragement to those who are in this truth you know you have to patiently wait for yahweh Hashem, yahweh shai you have to patiently wait for yahweh shai our redeemer our mashiach you know this these visions are yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it's tarry and the word tarry here yeah, let's quickly go to the word the word tarry i believe though it tarry so you see the word is um mauha okay and the word is delayed you know stay though it seems like it's been delayed you know 
that doesn't mean Yahweh Shai wouldn't come back, you know? Yahweh Shai will come back. It will still come back because, you know, the earth shall pass away. Everything shall pass away, but the words of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai would remain, you know? This is how powerful the words of the Most High are. If he makes a prophecy, if he, if he says something is going to happen, man, be sure it is going to happen. It doesn't matter if it takes 2,000 2, years, if it takes 6,000, 5,000 years, but be sure that is going to happen. And it's going to happen exactly at that moment that you least expect. So to those, those of you who are already losing hope, you know, sliding back into the world, wake yourself up, wake your spirit up, you no? Know? It's not easy to keep pushing in this kingdom. But this is what we have to do as the wise servants, you know, we can get that from the book of um, Luke. I have it here. This is the book of Luke 12. I'm going to read from verse 37. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, so you can see it's written in the red letters. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall guard himself and make them to sit down to meet and with will fought come um, will come forth and serve them. Okay? And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Okay? Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Okay? Blessed are the servants who are found watching. You know, now let's go get the word watching. Let's see what, what's in that place, you know? To keep awake, that is, watch, literally or figuratively. Be vigilant, wake, be watch, watchful, okay? To watch, to give strict attention, to be cautious, active, to take heed, lest through remission and indolence some destructive calamity suddenly overtakes one, okay? So we actually have to be vigilant. How do we keep ourselves vigilant? You know, watching and praying, you know, watching for the signs of the prophecies in which these signs are really happening at the speed of light lately, you know. Different pop prophecies are popping, popping like popcorn as the Apostle Raka says, you know. These scriptures are popping out, these prophecies are pop popping out. This is not the time to sit back, relax and be like, oh man, I'll just go back to the world. You know, it seems that things are not happening. Or this is not the time you start giving chances to, 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 to the seductions, to the lies of Esau, okay? Because at the hour when in which you, you don't expect, that is when Yahweh Shai is going to turn up. So those who are actually watching, who are looking for looking for these um, prophecies and seeing how they're popping out, you know, and those who are actually doing the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who are walking their salvation with fear and trembling, okay? Because when we go out to teach this truth, we do it, you know, we, we do it not because we just feel like going out to teach. We go out to teach because we fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is the same attitude every Akiam should have in this truth. It's not time to relax back because, you know, Time is passing, things and things things seems like they are not happening, but hey, things are really happening. Don't be a victim and fall for the tricks of Esau. Because Esau, which is the so-called white man, you know, there is, 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 is really a slick being, man. A slick being, you know. So he, 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 he massages your brain with lies and different kinds of deceits. And if you don't have the spirit of the Most High on you, man, you're gone, you know? So, hey, sit up. This is the time to sit up. This is the time, you know, to be strong 
in this faith this is the time to pick up your scriptures even if you don't have the spirit to read the scriptures man watch videos from brothers watch videos from the apostles and elders there are lots of videos on the on the internet and now is the time to do so because we know that um the, the famine of the scripture is coming according to the according to the book of amos 8 11 you know that time is coming in which this truth we would not be able to teach them anymore you know and there would be nowhere to be, to be found you know so those those wise wise stewards those wise servants they are actually preparing and watching for the day of the lord you know and as you know the book of um, isaiah tells us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time because when 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 um esau comes in you know like a madman just like the book of second isra says if i'm not mistaken you know when he comes in flooding in like a madman you know closing everything and blocking everything and yahweh hashem yahweh shai permits the famine of the world to come you know those who don't know this truth they are going to be on the queue collecting the mark of the beast in which we know is the microchip okay but now they've started it you know giving way to it through these waters these poisonous waters that they're giving you know so well i just wanted to do this um this video i i, I hope the message has been passed you know so to just give a recaption of what we actually just spoke about you know we read the book of um abacock 2 3 you know so remember that all these prophecies the mark of the beast the time of jacob's trouble all these things are about to come and they will come even if it looks like they're not coming you know for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie do it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry now i want to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kudash a double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who have taught me this truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth it's the brother yaraya from the gms camp italia shalawam